Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And um, so I wanted to give you guys an update about the Google Pixel Watch and just kind of talk to you guys frankly about it real quick in this video. There's not a lot to say about the Pixel Watch only because, I mean, it's exactly what it is. It's a satellite to my smartphones. Gives me notifications on the fly. Gives me a readout of like, you know, my heart rate, uh, my sleep patterns and things like that. And, you know, for the most part, in Google's very first attempt in making a smartwatch, you know, I got to give it to them. Um, if you were to ask me why I would rate it a 7 out of 10, it's because I think it's a great try. Um, there are some things that's questionable of what Google did in order to make this. And I think the biggest one is battery life. Uh, most uh, smartwatches today that's available out there can give you, um, you know, at least two days minimum on battery life before having to charge it again. This is where it differs from a smartphone, right? Smartphones, while there are phones that can get you two to three days battery life, I'm always, you know, use my phone throughout the day before I go to bed, I put it on a charger, I wake up in the morning, I take it off the charger. That's my routine of charging my phones. Um, and that suffices. But for a smartwatch, it's a little bit of a different story because sometimes you want to be able to track your sleep. And if you take your watch off the charger, say like how I do at six o'clock in the morning on days that I use it, because I don't use my smartwatch every day. But on days that I decide to use my watch and I take it off the charger at six in the morning and have it on my wrist, I have to end up charging it again by like 4 p.m., right? Which, you know... That would be like business hours, right? From 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. That's a pretty good length of time where you have to top up on a charge. But you'd have to top up on a charge to be able to track your sleep if you want to monitor your sleep, especially at my old age of 40 years old. You know, you definitely want to watch your sleep because you want to see how much rest you're getting. You really want to track your health. You want to look at all things, heart rate and everything like that um, at my age. And so, um, you know, you have to top it up like at four in the afternoon and go to sleep with it. And you wake up the next day, if you're in a rush to get to work, well, then you're SOL on charging it. Um, if you have a little bit of time in the morning when you wake up, you throw it on the charger really quickly, get dressed for work after, you know, a nice hot shower and throw it back on and you should have enough battery to get you all the way until 4 p.m. again. Um, the thing is, is that that's what frustrates people when it comes to the Pixel Watch is the battery life. The battery life, they would love for it to go like a tick watch or, um, you know, like an Amazfit BIP. Any of those, uh, or Amazfit, sorry, not, not the BIP, but just the Amazfit watches, right? Because they have like the Rex, which is a circular watch, and it has pretty good battery life. Um, if it can go to the extremes of like a Pebble watch, that would be extremely well, like a week's worth of battery life. Um, and I think that's people's biggest gripe with the Pixel Watch. And for me, it is a letdown on the battery life, which only tells me that the next generation Pixel Watch will probably be focused on battery life. As far as functionality, it functions just fine. Um, now, I have a different opinion when it comes to the size of the watch. There are others who really want that really big watch, you know, size body on their wrist almost like as if they're a uh, Mighty Morphin Power Ranger with the wrist communicator. I don't care that the that the Pixel Watch has a little bit of a smaller face compared to like a Samsung Galaxy Watch or, you know, an Apple Watch. It doesn't really bother me because I'm not mostly on my watch for things. Like I see people post YouTube videos that you can watch YouTube videos on your Pixel Watch, but why? I mean, um, yeah, it's cool, you know, you go like that, hey, I'm watching a YouTube video, but like keeping your hand like this for a long period of time watching videos and stuff, and I don't know. It To me, that's a gimmicky feature. That's not a feature that's necessary. Necessary features on the watch, obviously, is telling me the time, giving me notifications from my phone to my watch so I don't have to reach for my phone. Uh, being able to track my workouts, my exercise, my walks, my heart rate, uh, my sleep patterns, those things matter to me. Um, I, I could take phone calls on my watch. I sometimes do it when I'm very busy, like I'm cooking dinner and then I'll just answer it from my watch and take it on there. But even then that's kind of weird to do because then I'm over here like this talking to the watch and so they can hear me. And then the speaker is not that great. It's a little, it's a very small squawk box. So everything just sounds so distorted when you have the volume completely up. 
And um, yeah, you know, there are areas where I feel like Google can improve on the Pixel Watch, but I give it set at seven out of 10 because Google's track pattern to me, it could have been far worse of an experience. And that I give them credit on that they brought something that works. I didn't have any issues of, of things not working. I didn't have any bug issues where it was freezing up, locking up, or just doing something that it wasn't supposed to be doing. It did everything that it was supposed to be doing. It did it well. And is there room for improvement? Yes, but I feel that way about every piece of technology out there. Even if you were to try to convince me that the Galaxy S23 was the most perfect phone in the world, I could tell you at least three things that it can improve on because there's always room for improvement.